It's toy haul time. What's up, you guys? Marvel Walkies back at you with a toy haul video. This would be a super toy haul video because we just came back from our birthday LA trip and it was amazing. And we came out with a lot of good shit. We came out with like bandits. All right, so let's start off on um, the first place we well not the first place but one of the places we went is Puzzle Zoo. And just like it says, it is a unique toy store. It's pretty much like just all kinds of toys. And really looked, random. Yeah, and we looked out on some things. Um, they did have some DC um, characters. Um, now these guys are the um, Validus Wave. The funny thing is they were selling them for twelve ninety five. That's actually a pretty good price because anytime you go to Target or Walmart or Toys R Us, Fifteen ninety nine is pretty much the the price, so we decided to get these characters. Um, we heard that this is a variant version of him because obviously it does show him in his normal costume, and I heard this is also the modern version. So it is kind of cool to see him like this. He kind of looks steampunk. Um, Nika loves steampunk, so that's definitely a plus for this character. And yeah, um, we needed to build Validus and great price. And we've been needing Raven in the DC universe because the one that we have over there is not That's as correct. articulate. So. So another cool thing we really found is um, they had freaking Street Fighter characters, and some of these are super old. Um, this guy, Akuma, he's a variant. He's in the purple costume. So um, we got him. You know, he's part of the round four. And um, it's pretty cool that the normal one is blue with the red hair, so we got the purple one with the white hair. Obviously, again, that's why it's a variant. And they even knew that it was an exclusive. They are only selling them for 20 bucks. But that's a hell of a good price, so I'm not sure if we're going to use them in our um, collection or we might trade them off, so we'll see. Um, for those of you who you know are on our Facebook page, definitely keep an eye out. We will be uploading some stuff on our new dock for what we're willing to do trades with and stuff like that. So some of the stuff you see in our toy haul might actually be up there for trade. We also came up, up on this yellow Blanca, and um, it's pretty cool because, again, he's a variant. And at first, they were like, trying to sell them for 25 bucks, and I was like, I don't know, that's it's an okay price, but um, I'm glad I took him up to the register because he came up for like 10 bucks, so that's definitely another good price um, that I had to come across. So, uh, so I grabbed the blue ones because they had him, so I actually grabbed two. One's going to be for our collection, and one's going to be for trading. So um, hopefully someone's looking for him, and we'll do a good trade with you guys. And this is part of round two, so... Um, great prices for these figures because you can't even get these anymore at any store I haven't seen forever. So. And they are officially soda. Yep. That's where it's at with the soda. Uh, and then lastly, um, I know a lot of people don't collect or really like the Green Lantern movie um, Masters collection, but the funny thing is, I guess they stopped selling them, stopped um, producing them, and um, I don't know if they just killed off the wave, but... None of our stores, or I haven't seen any stores, have the Krona figure. So I'm glad that we got him because we wanted to have um, a Guardian in our Green Lantern ACBA. So, and he does um, come with the Parallax uh, CNC figure, which we will unfortunately not be able to build <laughs> and have for our collection. If they so. aren't completing this set, it really bums us out because that guy looks insane. And we could tell already that... Isamat, Cole, and Sinestro were going to be part of this particular wave, so it's really a bummer when they start something and then they don't finish it. It's really frustrating. So that's it with um, toy with the puzzle. Oh, we did pick up some of the. <laughs> we ones. picked up these guys because we're planning on doing something kind of cool with our ACBA for Ant Man. So we just kind of grabbed a couple of goofy little ants. So, um. um Continuing with the um, Street Fighter, we ran into this one store called Extreme Toys that was in the mall. It was pretty awesome as well. They had a lot of um, Street Fighter too. I know these guys aren't soda, but I mean Akuma just looks super badass. And they had both versions. Um, we believe that one of them is a variant, and it probably it's is the silver the one. The silver and the the silver one right here is the variant, and then of course you have your standard Akuma uh, over here. And we know that there was a white version for Comic-Con that was exclusive, but this figure is really well done. We like that it has the, you know, um, his fire flow, he's like, he's doing a power, so can't wait to put him up with, um, 
Ryu or somebody him fighting and have an awesome continuation of our Street Fighter ACBA. So we got both versions. Um, weren't sure which one we liked the best, but I think we're gonna keep the one with the the normal um, red hair. So we might have the other one up for trades. So again, keep an eye on our Facebook and you'll see which ones we're gonna we're gonna do the trades for. Um, we also came across Dalsum. He's freaking awesome because um, they actually made sure that he came with a long arm and you know. Basically, we can put him in these kind of poses that he does when you fight him in um, Street Fighter. So, and we, this is another soda. Yeah, and we picked up two of them. We definitely had to have one for our collection, and again, one for trade. So, we got some Street Fighter figures up for trade, you guys. So, hopefully, uh, we can get you guys those so they can have a good home as well. And lastly, um, for some crazy reason, they had the Toy for Toy Fair exclusive. So. I was like, wow, we have to have this because um, not only is it the the bloody version of Ryu, um, it comes with Sagat and twenty three ninety nine. That is a steal, you know. I, I don't know how much they were selling it for at Toy Fair, but this is another awesome set, and it's kind of rare to see um, the Street Fighters come in a like double pack, you know. So um, definitely came up on that one too. So and again. Soda. So you guys know these guys make really good figures for the Street Fighter. And we like how they're to scale with the Marvel Legends, so we're definitely going to be doing some Marvel vs. Capcom, so can't wait to do that too. So, Well, our definitely our favorite store out of all the things we went to was uh, this Extreme Toys, because they, um, they had, first of all, they have this set of the DC Universe figures that build um, this guy right here, Ultra Humanite. So we picked up a couple of them because they are the Walmart exclusives, which, as you guys know, our local Walmart really sucks. We don't even get exclusives, actually, in our town. Um, so we checked on eBay. These guys are actually for a really great price. Um, picked up Zatanna because, again, we don't have the universe version of her, so she's definitely more articulate. She looks really good. I like her her face. Um, her little outfit, just it looks really awesome. So we have two parts for the Ultra Humanite. And uh, so we can start that Collect and Connect set right there. And going on with the DC, we picked up Vixen. Now, this one is DC Direct. However, she looks so good um, that we definitely just have to have her in our collection because she's just, she, look at her sculpt. I mean, she just looks really good. And they haven't made a DC um, universe yet, and we're not sure if they are, but definitely had to have her. And this girl has a rack. Anyway, yeah. that's just crazy. Um, continuing with actually some of the DC, we picked up this set here because we do not actually have a Doomsday. And out of all the ones that we've seen so far, this is probably the best looking one. Um, we kind of have a lot of Superman, so I'm not sure what we'll do with him. He might replace one that doesn't look as great. But the other thing that was cool is that it comes with the Death of Superman graphic novel in there. Well, and this so, is actually a collector's set, too, so... Yeah, and I so mean, that's a really great price that you get the book and two figures, because um, most of you who collect graphic novels probably know that they are 20 and up in the price range. So that was really great. Um, and we got a Bizarro. He looks really cool. Um, again, a DC Direct, so it's kind of sad on the articulations, but we do really like the art on the DC Direct, so they look, you know, the sculpts are really good, and they're just really well made. We look just, at the price, six ninety nine. Like, DC Direct figures are not that price. They're usually 15 and up, so that was a, another good score. Yeah. Um, and, and going into that, they had Marvel Legends, too. That's very rare um, that they get those figures. I mean, they don't even have Marvel Legends in any comic book stores you go into anymore these days. And the craziest part about this is look at the price. Five bucks for a Legends figure that's in the box with a bath for the blob. And we eBayed this guy. They're, they're hard to find, you know. When you do find them, they're overpriced. So we had to grab these. This was just too much. This one was the best one because, obviously, you guys know that this Thor... He's badass looking. He just looks like, you know, the Asgardian god in this version. And he comes with the blob head. So I would assume, you know, safe to assume that this was the harder one to get and the more expensive one. Even when we did check on eBay, that was true. So I had to have him because we don't have this figure. And if I want to build the blob, definitely going to need the head. So we're going to start trying to build him soon. So, and again, $16.99. That's the price that we would have paid for in Walmart, you know, or Target, and we I never seen this figure on shelves. <laughs> so, uh, we went to another store. Uh, this was... The Comic Hobby. Factory? Oh, was it? Yeah. 
It was. Well, we went to a hobby store, too, so it's kind of confusing which ones we went to. Um, so we collect the pop vinyl, and they make Marvel, DC, Star Wars, Disney, everything. Um, I like that they made um, specifically Green Lantern movie ones. So we already have the normal Green Lantern Hal Jordan, but this one is an exclusive because not only because it's um, shiny, it's a Comic-Con exclusive that you can only get there. And it's, what makes it an exclusive is the shininess and the, it's the movie version. Seventeen ninety nine is not a bad price for that because these guys normally go for about ten bucks. So paying eight dollars more for a Comic Con exclusive that we didn't even get to go to Comic Con to pick up and couldn't ask somebody to get it for us because we didn't even know that it was existing. So that's awesome. And I just got the normal Sinestro because we didn't need him to be shiny. Um, you know, focus on how Jordan being the variant. And um, you know, this is cool because that cl completes our DC pop vinyls for now. So glad they have those. And uh, we are working on some ACBAs, as we always talk about in our videos. Um, so what we've been wanting to do is do the X-Men Mansion. Uh, and, of course, you guys know that some of the select figures come with the gates, mainly Marvel Girl. And there's two Marvel Girls. There's this one here. This is the variant. I believe it's Rachel Summers. We're not entirely 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty certain. Um, and then the regular one, which is that one. Which we have on our wall, up there, but we were not willing to sacrifice, you know, that one because she's part of our collection that we don't open. So we went ahead and picked up uh, this one, which was the variant, and we managed to find the regular one. So we were able to get the, du the duplicate so we can use the gate and also not have to open our box and now we have Marvel Girl. The nice thing too is we got them both for 20 bucks. If you look on eBay... The variant is always more than 20 bucks, so it was nice to get them both for the same price, and now we can complete the gate, so that was an awesome steal, so thanks to that store. And of course, we do get comic books, because we always show our figures, but um, as you know, they are, I, I assume you guys know a lot, I just say that a lot. Um, anyway, uh, they are rebooting the whole DC Universe, so there's certain ones we definitely wanted to pick up the first issue for, so of course the Justice League. We got the first issue, so really excited about that. I think the cover art looks really nice. And I'm a huge Batman fan. So I have The Road Home, which is part of the series where Batman comes back. And then I actually have this one. And another reason why we picked up these guys, they had some crazy sell DC, uh, all the comics and graphic novels were 52% off just because of the whole DC reboot, so they wanted to get rid of some of their inventory, so um, we had to take advantage of that and got a killer deal, so um, moving on to um, this other comic book store, I've been wanting to um, catch up on my um, Be Shows You Girls, and Wonder Woman is just so awesome that she stays up there in the price range of 60 bucks, so you can't really find her for too much cheaper, so I'm glad that they had her for that price, and I decided to get her so I wouldn't have to buy her on Amazon or eBay and pay shipping, but can't wait to add her with the rest of our b show juice, and, um, you know, she's just an awesome sculpt, and i um, so glad that they made her, so we'll be adding her up there soon, and then now that Jean Grey is out, now I have to get her, so I'm running behind. <laughs> um, at that store, we also found... Um, another variant, we came, we did pretty good this trip with variants, because, um, again with the selects, if we're gonna have to have an Iron Man select, we definitely wanted the Iron Man, um, 2 set, where it, it has Tony Stark, or, you know, Robert Downey Jr.'s face, so you can see it's him, um, the background's pretty cool, so we're gonna take that piece, probably use it for our, um, ACBA, and again, it's a Borders exclusive, a lot of Borders are closing down, so, especially I mean, ours, you can't even find them, um, there, even if they were, because they're exclusives, and there's comic book people that know that and just get them. So we only paid twenty one ninety nine, which is two dollars more than your average Marvel Select. So another killer deal. So I'm glad that store had that. And, and his then, helmet actually closes too. Yeah. So it's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, we've been wanting to get some of these legacy figures. Um, and Catman, he's an awesome figure. So he's not one that you find all the time. You're mostly seeing the Purple Freeze, Batman, and Joker, so 
Um, we definitely came up on him. And this would be an example, though, why I'm a bit more of a Marvel fan than DC. Because DC just comes up with the male and female version of every character they have. So there's not a lot of variety. And um, Catman just made me laugh, the name of it. But you know what? It's cool. And we like to have complete collections. And actually, I was impressed with him. He looks really good. So it kind of makes me want to learn a little bit more about him just so I don't, you know, find humor in him. <laughs> yeah, they did a good job on the sculpt, too. So I definitely like him <laughs> yeah and uh we hit up the disney store over there and i have a lot of the marvel universe box sets and i had picked up one earlier at our own local store because i was under the impression that the disney stores were going to be the ones to carry the variant but ours didn't have it and so when i saw this one i just had to have it because it is the variant so you have the phasing nightcrawler with the purple kind of see-through legs and arms and then you have Storm with just a little bit more highlighting on her costume but those are the only two that are really different the rest are pretty much the same but um, I was really happy when I saw that so we definitely had to grab it and another thing is um, again with the Marvel Selects we did a really good job on Marvel Selects this trip but um, the Disney store seems to be starting to collect exclusives too because um, this is the first one I've seen that says Disney Snore, Disney Snore, <laughs> Disney Store, and um, Hawkeye is a newer one, and I have not seen any comic book stores or stores that also sell the Marvel Selects have him, and I think that's the reason. His sculpt is amazing. It's bl the blue and purple colors are super vivid, and they just pop on this, you know, this sculpt, and definitely had to have him, especially for I like how Wasp is on his. Um, arrow that's pretty cool and then you can see too the Ultron base is badass so we're gonna use that for ACBA with our Avengers and can't wait for Black Widow because they did a better um, job on her than on the first series when it came out and she comes with Ant-Man too so that'll be cool to have them paired up for the Avengers so um, came out on that guy so that was great and there's one more bag over here and oh, yeah, we, just got too much yeah, we, we really just got a lot Spent of stuff too much money. Um, but yeah, we, we love Tokidoki as a style that I got into because I have a purse. And uh, it's very Japanese anime. Well, they teamed up with Marvel and New Era, which Joey Walkie loves his New Era hat. So he was sure really do. stoked when he found out that they started making these guys. So he's got a whole huge collection. Well, this is one of the newest ones to the collection. Um, we were actually looking for the Wolverine in his suit. And he's got like a boombox, but we found this one. So he grabbed that. But I was sad because I really want them to make a purse for me because, yay, girly. Um, <laughs> anyway, not to say that Tokidoki's only girls because obviously that is not girly. But they make these little charms. So they're, you know, there's Vision. Looks really good. Um, they're just super cute, very anime style, you know, cutesy stuff. Here's Red Skull. He kind of looks kind of crazy. He looks like a little voodoo doll. I was upset to have him at first just because I was like, oh, I want some of the main characters, but he's growing on me. I actually really like him and the fact that he's missing a tooth. Um, the thing is, these guys are random. So you get these boxes here and you don't know what you're going to get inside until you open it. Um, and some stores will let you trade with some they have open already, but um, half the fun is, you know, not yes. knowing what you're going to get. Iron Man. Another thing is we found these at Urban Outfitters, but you will see them at your local comic book stores because... They're Marvel, and you know they're just little trinkets that are easy to have at the front, where you can be like, "Oh, what's this?" and let me spend you know an extra six or seven dollars here. So they are pretty cool, and you know we have um, Rogue and Cyclops in, in the car hanging and lastly, off the Captain. So you know, we, but yeah, they're hanging off the rearview mirror, so we don't have those ones in here to show you guys. But um, there's Captain, and they have cute little. I mean, the charm piece that it can hang on is actually really well made. So um, really impressed with these guys. But yeah, so that's our that's our toy haul for for our vacation that we took. Yep, um, we're sorry that the video is so long, but we really wanted to share all these goodies with you. Um, our parting words: definitely keep up on our Facebook to check out what we're we're offering for trade, and um, and stay tuned for our next ACBA. We've been taking a long time on it, but we're getting there. I don't know. <laughs> you can see the skeleton of the stuff that's going up. So hopefully, you know that we'll have a video for you soon. So right, stay tuned, peace. guys.